If you're in the process of buying and selling products, you know the importance of planning ahead. You don't want any surprises as you're doing business, which means that prompt and accurate information from your trading partners is essential. EDI plays a vital role for manufacturers communicating with their trading partners. This video will look at the manufacturer's EDI processes and the specific transactions that come into play. The first step in this process is receiving the planning schedule with release capability. The purpose of this document is to list the number of items to be shipped on a weekly basis, as you can see in this chart. Typically, the chart shows data for the next 52 weeks. Looking specifically at the automotive industry, the sender of the planning schedule is the auto company, also known as a Tier 1 manufacturer. The receiver is the OEM, which stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. The OEM is a Tier 2 or 3 manufacturer. The planning schedule is sent through the X12830, or Edifact Delphor transaction, depending on the location. A week later, the Tier 1 manufacturer sends this forecast to the Tier 2 manufacturer. If you look closely and compare it with the initial planning schedule, you'll notice that there has been a change. The third column of Week 8 has gone from 410 parts to 440. Will this change override the initial planning schedule? The answer is no. The company being affected needs to internally decide if this change is feasible and acceptable for them. When looking at these charts, there are some important terms to know. The first is bucket, which refers to the specific row and column combination. The second is cum, short for cumulative. This measures the progress to the annual quantity, as you can see on the right column of this chart. There are other EDI transactions that can come into play in the manufacturing process. Some companies will send a shipment schedule via the X12862 or Edifact Delgit. This contains more specific information for the upcoming week such as the number of the delivery dock and the day the goods will be shipped. Users watch for jumps or drops in order quantities, referred to as the spike report. Other companies will send this information using the purchase order via the 850 or orders transaction. A manufacturer has dozens of active part numbers and customers, so the complexity and cost of error are high. With that in mind, who can you turn to for EDI help? Look no further than Data Communication Solutions, or DCS for short. Our team of EDI specialists can install an EDI system for you, or help you to best maintain the one you have. We can also teach your staff how to keep things running at peak efficiency through our Elite EDI training service. For a good place to start, consider our free assessment to help you determine the best course for your company. For the best EDI solution, visit our website at dcsedi.com and connect with us today.